Hello class. Today we will be talking about something quite fun. And it's one of the topics under plain menstruation. Plain menstruation. And it's an area of sectors and segments. So get relaxed, get your lesson notes ready, and let's get right away with it. Okay, so how do we calculate the area of a sector? Remember, the area of a sector is actually the area of the shaded portion, which is blue, and which comprises of two radii and an arc AB. It also has an angle that is subsumed at the middle of the circle which we refer to as theta. So area of a circle area of a sector of a circle is given as theta over 360 multiplied by pi r squared, where r is the radius of the circle and theta is in degrees. Pi is actually a constant and it is given as 22 over 7. So Let's get an example quickly so that we understand it better. A sector of a circle radius 7 cm subtends angle 270 degrees at the center. Calculate its area. So it's very simple. The angle is actually a reflex angle. So whether it's a reflex angle or an obtuse angle, the formula still remains the same. So you have no worries about that. So here are the parameters 7 cm, 270 degrees as theta so here's a solution to that so given that r is 7 cm theta is 270 degrees and pi is 22 over 7 area of sector is given as pi theta rather over 360 multiplied by pi r squared so we simply substitute the values for each of this term so in place of theta we have 270 in place of pi, we have 22 over 7. And in place of r, we simply put 7. If you do that math, you're going to have 291060 all divided by 2250. Punch that on your calculator. And what you have is 129.36 cm squared. That's the area of a sector. That's it. Very simple, right? Okay. So next, we're going to be going on to area of segment of a circle. This is also a part of a circle. And it's usually the shaded portion, which is blue. It comprises of the length of the chord and the length of the arc. So this portion, shaded blue, is the segment. So how do we calculate it? We calculate it using the method of subtracting the area of the triangle from the area of the sector so in simple terms we calculate the area of the sector then we subtract the area of the triangle from it how do we get the area of the triangle simply half r squared multiplied by sine theta where r is the radius and theta is the angle it subtends at the center of the circle so hence area of segment is theta over 360 multiplied by pi r squared bracket closed minus brackets open half r squared multiplied by sine theta so let's get quickly to an example so that we buttress a point on the right is a portion of a circle calculate the area of the shaded portion so we have a figure on the right hand side where the radius is 12.5 cm and the angle is so sensed at the center is 125 degrees. So we also calculate the area of the shaded portion blue. How do we go about that? Given that R is 12.5 cm and theta is 125 degrees, pi equals 22 over 7. Area of segment is area of sector minus area of triangle, remember? So we simply just substitute the values. First of all, we calculate the area of the sector, which is given as this. Simply substitute the values theta for 1 to 5 degrees, pi for 22 over 7, and r for 
so we got the area of the sector if you punch that on your calculator do the mass carefully we're going to have 191 cm squared as the area of the sector so next we we solve for the area of the triangle poq the area of the triangle is given as half r squared multiplied by sine theta so same thing we did the last in the last um slide we're going to do it here substitute the values of r and theta so where we have r we put 12.5 and when we have theta we impute one two five so if you do the math very carefully sine theta is going to give us 0 0.8191 while 12.5 squared will give us 156.5 and multiply that through we're going to have area of triangle as 64.1 cm squared quite simple right okay remember area of the segment is equal to area of sector minus area of triangle don't forget that so now we've got in the area of the sector we have the area of the triangle we simply subtract the values and when we do that we would have 1 to 6.9 cm squared you can try that on your own so that's it for area of sectors and segments so here is a homework for you to try out it's a simple two questions one for area of sector and one for area of segment success see you in the next class